Hello everyone. Today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to download and install the new version of the Camera Controller Beta 5, how to enable streaming mode, and how to set it up to stream the Blender camera to the Camera Controller Android app. When you access the Gumroad download page, you'll see two options. The first one is a free demo, which I highly recommend trying before purchasing. This will allow you to test if your Android phone supports all the features. The add-on is currently tested only on Windows and Linux. It may not work properly on Mac OS. After testing the Beta 5 demo and finding it useful for your workflow, you can choose the Plus version, which is currently available at a 50% discount during the Beta phase. But let's start with the demo. Enter zero in the price field to download it for free. Select the demo version and then click I want this. To proceed, on the next step, simply enter your email. In the Add a Tip field, set it to zero and then click Get. On the download page, download the current version of the add-on that includes the streaming system, which is Beta 5, Fix 1. The Android app is listed just below. Either download it directly on your phone or transfer it to your device and install it. Installing an add-on in Blender is very simple. Just drag the zipped file into the interface and click OK. You can also install it through the Preferences panel if you prefer. However, make sure to remove the old version of the camera controller before installing the new one. This version will install some important dependencies. These are Python libraries used to generate the QR code in the panel, along with modules for screen capture and the HTTP server, which allows the camera view to be accessed over your local network and on your phone. You can check in the preferences which modules are being used and what each one does. You can also verify their purpose on PyPy.org. It's very important to emphasize that the camera controller works strictly on your local network. Internet is only required to download the dependencies. No additional data is collected or sent outside your network, making it safe to use in commercial projects. After installing the add-on, install the Android app you downloaded the one with the APK extension. Once installed, it's time to start the server in Blender by clicking the button located at the top of the panel. Make sure to read the usage instructions the first time you use it. This is very important. After that, simply scan the generated QR code using the Android app and the IP and port will be automatically filled in. With the fields filled in, just click Connect. If it moves on to the next screen, that means everything worked correctly. To get started, you first need to enter camera view mode in Blender. Once you're in this mode, click Select Display if it's a new project, or Change Display if it's a previously saved project. The add-on remembers your last choice. Select the display where Blender is running and click OK. With the display where Blender is running selected, we now need to start the configuration server. Click Start Configuration Server to proceed. Once the server is active, a browser window will automatically open. In this window, you'll define where the camera is located and which region should be streamed. Move the crop area to the region where your camera is located in Blender and resize it as needed. However, crop areas larger than 60% of the display will result in fewer frames per second being sent to your Android app and may increase latency. So try to avoid setting a crop area that covers more than 60% of the display. After that, just click in Update Crop and we'll be ready to start streaming. When the configuration server is started, a button will appear in your Android app, allowing you to define the crop area directly within the app. However, when configuring it from the computer, you'll have access to more detailed information about the crop area, which can be helpful for fine adjustments. With the server and crop area configured, you can start the streaming either from the browser the Android app, or directly from the add-on panel. By clicking Start Camera Streaming, your camera will automatically be displayed in the Android app, running behind the control interface. You can minimize some of the controls to improve the viewing area and make it easier when recording the scene. And with just these simple steps that take only a few seconds, your streaming system is fully set up. You can update the Blender screenshot at any time to refresh the cropped region. Once updated, it will automatically sync with the app. One recommendation before recording your scene is to move around the scene a bit. This helps build the cache. 
You can also press play on the timeline during this process. It will help prevent FPS drops. If your computer can handle it, you can record directly using Eevee. However, if performance is an issue, for better results, it's recommended to use solid mode instead of Eevee Preview. And that wraps up this tutorial. If the camera controller was helpful for you, don't forget to leave a review on Gumroad. It really helps us improve every day. More updates on the camera controller and other projects are coming soon, so make sure to follow us. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.